So this is how you unbox and set up the D-Link DWR U2000. It's a very simple setup, simply by plugging in your nano SIM card, power on, and you can start using it as a router. So do check it out. Introducing the D-Link DWR U2000 Wi-Fi 5 5G NR MiFi. This has got the built-in Wi-Fi 5 5G mobile hotspot. It supports dual band Wi-Fi of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. It supports 5G NRSA and NSA. What this means is that this is a new radio that supports standalone 5G with all its intended benefits and is not subject to the limitations of 4G LTE. It has got a USB-C port for charging and reverse charging, meaning that it is also a power bank by itself as it has got a built-in 5000 mAh of battery. Now this supports nano SIM card. It comes with a nano SIM card slot that supports 5G or 4G LTE. So we are going to unbox this, we're going to set it up, and we're going to show you how to use it. So this is what you see once you open up the box. It has got a quick installation guide, a reset pin, and a charging cable, which is USB-C. These are the items in box. So let's take a look at the DWR U2000. On the front, you've got the power button and the display. At the side, you have got the WPS button as well as the reset pinhole. And right at the bottom, this is where the USB-C port is where you can charge the device as well as using it to charge your other devices such as a mobile phone through reverse charging. And on the other side, that is where we have got the nano SIM card slot which we will show you how to insert the SIM card right now. To insert the SIM card, you need to use the reset pin and pressed to release the SIM card tray. Now, you need to load the SIM card as shown with the notch facing the left. Put it in. The nano SIM card was set in nicely then you insert it back into the U2000. There, your SIM card is installed. So with the nano SIM card installed, let's power on the DWR U2000 and use it as a router. It can be used as a router mode or a modem mode. For this tutorial, we will use it in the router mode. Power on by pressing on the power button. During startup, you will see the battery LED blinking. When it is ready for use either for 4G or 5G, you will see that the relevant LED indicator will be solid green. We will now connect our mobile phone to the router. 
So the phone is currently connected to our home network. We are connected to the D-Link 5G. The password, you can find it on the label at the back of the U2000. So let's enter the password. Once the password is key in, let's connect. You can see that the Wi-Fi indicator has now turned from green to blue, indicating that the device has connected to the router. So let's start up a YouTube and see whether the connection is solid and able to surf the internet. So on YouTube, let's do a search. We'll play this trailer. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. It's been so you're able to play your YouTube video by connecting to the U2000. Next, we're going to show you how the U2000 can be used as a power bank through reverse charging. So let's insert the USB-C cable into the USB-C port on the U2000. With the other end of the cable, let's plug it into our mobile phone. And you can see that it is charging. So this is how you use the DWR U2000 for reverse charging using it as a power bank to charge your device.